Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 61.2. He's 23, stands 5'10". He fights out of IMA Leeds and hails from Leeds, Rabi Mbatam. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 61.5. He's 21, stands 5'10". He fights out of the grip house and hails from Glasgow, Alice Pilkington. Your referee, Mr. Stefan Jochi. All oh, ladies and gentlemen, the action here at Almighty Championships 37 rolls on with another amateur bantam wipe out. Rabi Mbada fighting out of the blue corner, two and two record, represents I am a immortal martial arts in Leeds. He's in the black shorts with white trim as he takes on Team Grip House's Vastly experienced, Ellis Pilkington. 12th amateur fight here. The Team Grip House man in the black Nike shorts. And here we go. Yeah, super experienced, 24 years old and already 11 amateur fights. In the bag for Pilkington. Batter though coming forward. Nice, sharp jab to the body there with that lead leg. Pilkington. Working the inside of the... Ooh, just threatened a question mark here, yeah. I think, as well, and Bauer. Yeah, he's fight, nice fighting in. a lot with those legs. Just out of range, both of them, as if they're on. That wasn't. <laughs> nice work there, just... Almost faked the takedown, did him batter, and then came through with that kick to the body. Oh, nice there from uh, from Pilkington going to pie with the kick. They exchange body kicks and that allows. Oh, beautiful knee to the body. Yeah, but really. Yeah, and and, to, and took it. I mean, he took that takedown. Yeah, yeah, he really worked for that one and just kept turning the corner. Eventually, almost kind of. Reap the heel away yeah. from uh, Pilkington. From Pilkington no, he uses the butterflies and then gets to a hip and immediately bounces back up to his feet only. He's oh, but that the, the it's, wizard it's keeps the wizard him up. That, yeah, it's the wizard that keeps you, uh, you uh, enables you to get back to your feet from that position. Strong wizard there. That's the overhand on the, the left arm there of, uh, of Pilkington. And Bada, those, Bada, stand heavy, stand strong, constant pressure. Yeah, he's looking to pull that right ankle away from the fence. Oh, he's got to watch, oh, his neck gotta watch the neck. Pilkington's looking to try and perhaps work a choke here, but I just, just sprawl it out. Yeah, sprawls and drags his man down. Is he going to sort of spin? Oh, he's thinking about. Oh, he's looking uh, to lock oh! up the choke kid. It's absolutely beautiful oh, work here. It's on! And that looks super yeah, tight. Good defense so far from Bada, but oh! He's just not right giving him there. anywhere to go at the moment. But beautiful work. Yeah, he's defending it correctly, but now this is really tight. Oh, on the mount. He's going to let go of it here, I think, and use it to get the position. But does he get the position? The chases pass. the arm! Really but nice Bada work. gets that hand out, and now can... Oh, I thought he could be... <laughs> Like a dog with a bone, Pilkington. Yeah, seamlessly uh, transitioning between those submission attempts as well was Pilkington. Oh, and then really Neon nice Belly, work. some heavy shots on the ground with the last few seconds. What a first round, boys. That was absolutely fantastic technique on this black from both these guys. In particular, Pilkington with those submission attempts. Defended really well, though, by Mbata. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, Mbata tries to initiate the takedown. How he... Just kept rolling through. Was it a Dars attempt? Yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was the anaconda. Anaconda. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the anaconda going under the neck and uh, and connecting that grip. But yeah, it was super tight. But he did a really good job of uh, 
of working his way out of that position. Didn't matter, kept scrambling. Didn't allow uh, Pilkington to get the, the necessary yeah, squeeze. Just get the, yeah, get that little bit of bite. And Pilkington right out to the center of the cage. He's ready to go. But what I really liked is when he realized that he didn't have that, that joke, yeah. he used it to, to switch up onto the back and then work for the armbar, just constantly looking for ways to finish the fight. It was Pilkington in that first round. But, I mean, up until that final minute, it was, oh, it was pretty close round between these two guys in the standing Whoa. exchanges. Pilkington's caught the foot. He's pressuring in. Bada turns him. Yeah, beautiful work there by Mbata. Oh, and tried that, and just tried that sweep again. He takes it, and now he's on the neck again. Oh, oh, nice little knee at the body uh, oh. to the body there from Mbata. But Pilkington's constantly pressing forward. Pilkington can constantly push his pace as well. I mean, all, yep. all five of his wins have come by decision. He's he's used to going the full distance in these uh, in these contests and. He can push the pace all day and, and keep going and keep coming forward. Bada trying to work this takedown. Pilkington again gets the hips to the cage, back up against, stands up. Lovely, picks the ankle. Pushing down on the head, trying to free the legs and up again is Pilkington. It's every time. He's going to say he's always looking for that, that oh! trip or that sweep when he's in those. Straight into the mount. Bad's got to move. He's Both got to be careful in. to get flattened out, which he does. Gets on to the. Oh, that's a big shot. And now has he got the arm trapped? Oh, nice work well from a batter, though, sneaking out the back door. Trying to turn it to the single leg. Yeah, he's looking for that low single, but. Pilkington's going to have to turn in the women. Do yeah. Yeah, Pilk did the right thing there, just but pressing down on the head, turned into him. Bata doesn't know when he's in a bad position. <laughs> now a nice takedown from Bata. A lot of the takedowns in this fight so far have come from those clinch positions. It looks like he... I can't see if he's got it, but... Yeah, I think again. he's used it more for control at the moment than actually looking to... Yeah. Yeah, he's going to spin round and look to take the back. Oh, exactly it's beautiful. Right thing, just peeling that ankle as and well. Straight into the... Straight into the mount. Fantastic work from Ellis Pilkington. Yeah, and if he pulls his man off, oh, nice shot. If he pulls his man off the cage now, Sabata can't use to push off it. Oh, again, lovely shots. I Pilkington really like just rolls with him. He's like, okay, you want to move this way? I'll come with you. I really like that Mbata keeps moving around, yeah. though, just constantly trying to get out of these oh. positions. Doesn't stay anywhere to enable Pilkington to really land heavy ground and pound and look for the submission attempt. But now he's got to be careful. There you go, turned straight back into him again. Recognizes the danger to Zumbata. And yeah, but a, turns into him. But yeah, I mean, he takes a, a dominant. A, a, several fists to the face. Yeah, it's as a, a dominant result. second round for the grip house, man. Yeah, I think his experience is uh, paying showing, off a little yeah, bit. Showing in this second round, is it for Ellis Pilkington? Are we going to go to a third round? This is absolutely what, insane. What, I mean, what's one of those? I know, I mean, our, our ring card girls have barely had to do it, anything it's today. It's the first time I've seen the three <laughs> out tonight. An easy night's work for them. They've just been sitting and enjoying the first round finishes just like we have, well. Steve. And the fights that haven't gone to the finish, the few, the very few this evening. They've been entertaining as all hell. Every single fight that's gone the distance so far has been extremely technical, yeah. well-balanced matchups as well. And the ones that haven't have been exciting. They've been well-matched, and we've had some viral moments tonight. Oh, we've, been, we've been absolutely treated today, haven't we, here at uh, Almighty Fighting Championships 37. Shout out to the main man, Ray. Oh, absolutely. The put together put a, a hell of a card here. And third and final round for Abby Bada. The blue corner, the black shorts, white trim, the IMA man, and Ellis Pilkington in the black shorts from the Grip House up north in Scotland. Exchanging kicks on the feet. 
think Pilkington is just a little bit more crisp and clean with his striking and batter. Whoa. There's that question mark kick that he threatened earlier from a batter. But yeah, I think Pilkington's a little bit more technical and slicker on the feet, whereas a batter's I'm very dangerous, on the single. but a bit more, bit more Nice wild. big sprawl out, push him down on the head. I mean, Botta really, really tried to work for that takedown, but Pilkington just... Oh, he's, he's yeah, wrapping he's it up again. Now he's looking for the, uh, the Anaconda again. And again, strong <laughs> controlling Batman, position. I love that from about He just powers his yeah, way back. I'm just going to get I'm up. I'm getting choked. I was going to stand up. <laughs> Had to re release the grip, spun round. Oh, beautiful work there. Just turn round and batter as uh, Pilkington was looking to spin to the back. Yeah, but ends up in the half in guard. The half guard you yeah, know. It's, uh, it's either have your back take or end up in the half guard. You pick your poison. Grabby right in his own corner, though. Yeah, he really needs to get back to his feet, though, and get some work off in this third round if he wants, yeah, to, win if he wants to win the fight. At the moment, Pilkington, second and third round so far, yeah, has had it all so. his own way. Oh, that second round was particularly dominant. And here we go now, a minute and 15 to work. Mounted. Oh, oh, oh looking, for looking the, ahead and on. He needs to jump over to this, uh, to this left hand side of Mbata. Yep. There you there go. You and go. Now and now circle all his way out. Down. But Mbata doing the right thing there, trying to use the cage to. Yeah, but there's Turn nowhere out. to go. He needs to get that chest a little bit lower to the uh, to the canvas, does Pilkington, and he could really be sitting up, but I think he's yeah, going to he lose his a, position Yeah, he had a little bit, so he decides I'll just mount and punch, and now I'll threaten the rear naked. And again, that's that experience. He doesn't just give up or burn yep. his arms out. He goes, right, I'll use yep. this to get back. Oh, and there's the tap. And there's the tap, Ellis Pilkington. I was too busy talking, <laughs> talking about the but previous he was working <laughs> I didn't actually see what he uh, what he ended up finishing with. The first finish there for Ellis Pilkington of his amateur career. There we go. Look. This is the head and arm. He gives up on that. Yeah, he went back to the uh, to the format. Ah, uh, it's the rear naked rear choke naked. in the end. And again, as you point, for, transitions from one sub one submission to the next. So if one doesn't work, he uses it to move into the next one. Yeah, Fan really dangerous. Fantastic work from Ellis Pilkington. But let's take away nothing from Rabi Bata. Made that a fight. Oh, really fun fight. Oh, Really good back and forth through, uh, through three rounds here. But in the end, yeah, I think that little bit of experience, extra experience yeah. for, uh, for Pilkington showed through. And, and as you mentioned, the, just the, the chain in those submission attempts together is, is what eventually allowed him to get the finish. Beautiful work. Absolutely, Mr. Saf Khan. Make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 26 seconds of the third round, your referee, Mr. Stefan Jochim, calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by rear naked choke, Ellis Pilkington. Please show your appreciation for Robbie Mbata.